How's it going guys? Welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. I feel like Sintra has a few questions that need answering. Oh, I didn't get to choose my ID going into the computer, so I guess I won't be able to immediately uh, like try and do it as myself and as Corvo separately. I, I might just be diving straight into the Corvo stuff. Sintra? You... you around here anywheres? I mean, every single time I come in here, there's like a new particular section that's opened. I'm sure I just have to go quickly and quietly in search of that and something will come up. Hmm, we've kind of already been through this. Although, I didn't really get the chance to look around everything that's going on in this room. I wouldn't know what it is. Modern art? I mean, how many dimensions does that exist in right now? It seems like at minimum one more than what you currently live in. It's an internal report, Project Cornucopia, April 14th, 1971. Backup copy updated observations. The subject does not seem to suffer or remember anything from the procedure. Future experiments could study whether we could modify one of these copies and integrate one part of our network. Is, is this all just information about the AI, Sintra AI maybe? A Project Cornucopia. Oh, this this is all still the same info. There are different books lying on the floor. <laughs> okay, there's nothing more to be said about that apparently. This time I I got nothing. I can't find this girl. The blank thing at the end here. Uh, empty painting. There's a plaque. It says the Devil's Blood. There's been some weird mentions of the devil in this game. That one particular photo or a uh, thing in the mirror. There was something just like the last episode that mentioned the devil as well, like a weird quote. I don't know. I'm allowed to leave, so I guess talking to Sintra currently isn't the next step. Unless I try to use the card straight on the computer. Let's see what happens if I use our Corvo's ID instead of mine. Okay, so I just had to use it. It wasn't a matter... Okay. It wasn't a matter of it prompting me when I tried to interact. What's going on here? Uh, it doesn't seem normal. Looks like entire rivers of blood mixed with toxic fog or something. What in the shit? I'll am impossible to worry of my office so as... What the sh shit that startled me? A weird broken version of Sintra. Something has the key? I think? Can I walk across these broken... that broken bridge? Not even. I'm basically just gonna zigzag through a random maze. I interacted with that as it went by at the girl's grave. Oh shit. Am I gonna learn... is this like an encrypted... a uh, file on the net? Like Corvo couldn't leave it just laying around properly so it's all broken, encrypted, and hidden and stuff? Oh my friggin' god. <laughs> the sound effect it played when you interact with that. Bell, 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 one, zero, zero, five. What the hell does that mean? Oh my god. Okay, I, I, I'm writing that down though. There's no way that doesn't come up at some point. Someone's gonna see bell, 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 one, zero, zero, five written on this notepad and think I'm losing my mind at my desk here. I don't know if Bell 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 was an important part of that or not. This is just a closed loop here. I guess every time you interact with this broken version of Sintra, you get that. Oh, oh, oh. I wanna I, I haven't made it over to here. Her influence topic. We can't comment something infiltrated the system. Yeah. Oh, oh, where the two hyphens are. Um. Her influence has infiltrated the system. We can't communicate anymore in this world, presumably. Uh, you can see that, like, where the hyphens are. It breaks up and, and reorganizes things. Oh, it gave me the shivers for a second when that popped in the screen ab above me for, like, a fraction of a second. Well, I want to be thorough, finding as many of these uh, different notes around here as I can. Sometimes there's ones, there's all these ones flying around that are much harder to get and interact with, damn it. 
at the girl's grave again. There's also sound music and stuff that just cuts in and out randomly. Oh, that one actually caught me. <laughs> Something over in my office as soon as possible. Some sort of bot has the, the key, presumably. I'm missing a lot of that one. I you you can kind of still piece it together in the same way, but it there's not a lot to go off of. See, you don't actually have to interact. Just one of those things bumping into you activates it. Welcome to Center Court, Mr. Corvo. Oh, come on, get out of here with that. Uh, then I have to go back. I hope that your work here will prosperous and productive and last. Hmm. I guess. I guess that was that either is completed in another one of these letters somewhere, or I didn't do like a great job unscrambling that. And the it seems like the music just starts up every time glitchy Sintra gets near you, but there doesn't seem to be any drawback to her catching you. I'm gonna go ahead and step out of there and analyze what I just did a little bit. I tried to go through and individually unscramble these things more thoroughly after taking screenshots and stuff. I don't know if it added a whole lot more insight than I already had just normally going through it. The rope I, I, I also don't know if these individual messages, uh, sentences are precisely in the right order. I believe the words within the sentences are, but the sentences might be swapped. And I don't think these messages are directly linked. I thought I would be able to stitch them all together in one big running message, and I thought that would be cool. I don't think that's the case. There is, welcome to Center Court, Mr. Corvo. I hope that your work here will be prosper prosperous, productive, and lasting. Um, her influence has infiltrated the system. That one didn't quite work. We can't communicate anymore in this way. The robot has the key. I'll move my office as soon as possible. And at the girl's grave. That one was just on its own, not scrambled or anything, but that was the one that was floating around. It's hard to say if it was worth the individual efforts of putting that all together more so than I had already done just by going through that section. I I might have to bank a little bit on other people having similarly done something with it. Because maybe I only understood or arranged things in the most basic manner that's just like scratching the surface. Maybe there is more to it and I'm just kind of missing it currently. I'm, I'm curious to see. I'm curious to see once I'm done the game to dig deeper into what other people playing the game have found and if there's more people were able to do with that section because it was pretty neat. Canteen, because it's either Hugo's birthday or Kate will meet me for coffee. Is it not time for any of that still? No one's praying at my little altar. Is there food to be made? A couple cups of coffee, two cheese sandwiches, two hot noodles. I should probably save a cheese slice in case I need to go back up to the forest goblin and need to pass some of that on to him again. What has been going on at IT this whole time? I could also go back and try and re-accomplish the initiation test. Over a thousand cameras are watching you for your safety. Smile. Security room, which I... Yeah, figured I probably wasn't allowed into. I can't rec I remember the box-headed guys, but I don't know if it was too dark before or if there was toxic clouds or something stopping me from exploring this further. No one chilling out up there. One soda? I haven't had any sodas for a while. Oh, there's my buddy that I found uh, who was, like, working at the hive before. He was just, like, uh, working on computers and stuff. Mm, I still want to try and make it back to that room immediately leading into the, where the cave was. I don't know if I killed the dot matrix or a dot matrix. I'm actually borderline too interested in that question right now. I have to go investigate that first, I think. Mm, this might be the thing that I've heard people mention before. Because now the cubicles have been moved, and I can't reach that particular button. I don't think I can go back that way, unfortunately. I don't know if it's totally a glitch, or if it's just like, uh, if you don't know, then it is going to take two playthroughs to get it right sort of thing. But I have to think it was just a bit of a, an oversight. Hello, Dashi. 
Ah, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. P put it over there. What? Oh, hello, hi. Uh, what's up, dude? Uh, I came to see what you were doing around here. You're taking a stroll around the company, aren't you? Well, welcome to Electronic Garbage Paradise, buddy. Here, I fixed a little bit of everything. Computers, printers, telephones. I hope uh, not all kinds of printers, though. I also like to co collect components for, well, modifying things or doing my experiments, but hey, that's a secret. You work alone? No one helps you? Yeah, well, there used to be more, but between this and that work-related accidents are the order of the day. You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah, perfectly. Man, I keep screwing up the intended cadence and inflection of this guy's speech. I don't have much work to do, actually. Around here, the crowd can't tell a turned-on computer from a turned-off one. I've had orders accumulated for years, and no one says a word. So, I mind my own business. This company is chaos. I don't know how it's still going. I have a theory that's going to drive you crazy. Want me to tell you? Yeah, sure. First of all, get all that old witch stuff out of your head. We're old enough not to go around believing in fairy tales. Yeah. Look, this is very simple. This company is a machine, and the parts that make it work are the employees and all that. You follow me? This feels like Frank Reynolds' corporation in It's Always Sunny, where he's, you're like, what do we do here? And he's just like, we make money. And he's like, yeah, but what do we do? Like, make money. <laughs> There's like no actual process happening or whatever. It's just corporate wheelings and dealings endlessly with no like product or sale trading hands. Sort of. For example, imagine that the company is a printer you have at home. One day it prints out two sheets of paper together. Another day it misprints some data. The next day it swallows paper, mixes the files you sent it to print. Well, you know, typical printer moves. Uh-huh. You know that damn thing is freaking out. It's broken or something. You call your buddy Doshi to keep an eye on it and fix it for you. Awesome. But dude, what if there's no owner? If only the printer exists, who says it's broken? All their parts are working, they take paper, they print, they may work oddly, but they work. And that's what's happening to this company. It's broken, it's corrupt, but at the same time, it's still working. You following me? How are you holding up? Mm. Well, while you're recovering from astral travel, let's get to the point, man. Besides being a philosopher and fixing things, I also sell some supplies. Wanna see? That means <laughs> just push all that shit off to the side. Ooh, more batteries. Uh, quantity, quality for a hundred beans each, almost giving them away. Ink cartridges, which is pretty dope, 150 each, that's actually really not bad. And finally, I have this wonder. This is art and technology fused together in the form of plastic tubes that illuminate for hours and hours. You can carry them in your hand or leave them on the floor and pick them up later. Very useful. When you run out of batteries, they cost 125 each. But since you're new, I'll give you three so you can try them, you'll love them. I could have went here before the um, the whole incident on the fourth floor. Oh, thank you. They'll be great for when I'm trying to navigate each floor. There's so little light in this building. You go around the building a lot? Yeah, I'm always going back and forth. But do you just go for walks or do you search the drawers in the filing cabinets? Yes. <laughs> column A, column B? Yeah. Awesome. Well, then maybe you can help me? Let's just say I deal with other things beside what you see here. I'm freaking out over a little jewelry I want to fix and, well, and I'm looking for pieces all over the building. If you get one of those pieces, I could give you a reward. Maybe I have some. What are they like? Hmm. The red button's the only thing I have that I don't know what the... Matt red plated electronic components. If you bring me one of those pieces, I could give you something really, uh, some nice stuff. It's like the only thing I have that I didn't know what to do with it, and here we are. I think I found one of those things. Take a look. I, I got Achievement Junk Man. You delivered an electronic piece to Dashi. Sweet buddy, you're really dope. <laughs> As a reward, let me see that little flashlight of yours. Ooh, is he gonna, is he gonna pimp it out like it'll be a stronger light or use less batteries? If I make a few changes here and there... 
Give me like a big honking mother. Good to go. You got yourself a modified flashlight. Now you'll have a much bigger, much cooler beam of light. That also would have been useful for that boss. I wonder what's cooler about it. Will it strobe or like make make cool siren sound effects or have like a, a tint to it? Or maybe it'll be like one of those laser pointers that just projects a middle finger onto your wall. Thanks to you, dude. If you find more of those pieces, you know who to give them to. Maybe he'll give me further uh, upgrades. I want to buy some supplies? Sure do. Just take whatever you want and leave the credits lying around. What are dot matrixes? Oh, I could talk about them for months. In short, they're matrix printers. Yes, but let's see. If you're putting a gun to my head, you know anything about Centricorp's history? Not much, actually. People forget it, but this company was a leading technology company in the 70s before it started to manage and speculate on data. <laughs> Just speculate in data. Doesn't really seem like that really leads anywhere, does it? In its day, the sixth floor was full of R&D projects. Multifunction computers, photocopiers, printers, robotics, and even memory scanners. This crowd experimented with, with all kinds of stuff. But although they registered a handful of prototypes, it never went anywhere. Summarizing, my theory is that a dot matrix is, Centricorp, is a Centricorp experiment gone wrong. Gossips also say that they originated when one of the scientists who worked on them got his hand caught between the needles. And, well, the result of that is obvious. I wonder if he could only tell me about it after I'd seen it, or like after I'd heard about it. Even if I hadn't seen it myself yet. Extra battery up top. Another sheet of witch paper. Slice of cheese. And a room in the back that's just kind of hidden. Hey dude, good vibes, but don't go near that door. I would like very much to know why. Presumably I'll come back at some point and he won't be here. I can I can give it a inspection for myself. I have 680 credits. That's decent. I could try and buy some stuff. What am I even looking at over here? Hmm, nothing to it, hey. Ooh, look at the big bright new flashlight. It's uh it's okay, I guess. Maybe it's not actually that special. But it feels new and exciting. Ah, oh, another sealed off door that I can't actually go to. And then there's nothing down this way. Alright, another another general bust. I bet you, like, one of the next things I could do is go back and talk to my Sintra after dealing with all the Corvo stuff. But I'm going to give the promotion test another try. And I'm going to do it as Chapman again. Oh, 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 oh. I can, um... I can use this to great advantage in this one, I think. God damn it, maybe these things don't light things up as well as I thought they do. But I'm gonna try to interact with some of these things as they're winging by. Okay, there's one. Two. Oh, come on. I only managed to interact with two that whole time. I think I managed to interact with four that time. Oh, I tried to, I accidentally said myself and it, it literally was just like, you're not allowed. <laughs> so I guess that's not happening. Well, I died down there, so I'm not doing any more of that. Someone in the comments had mentioned that only the horizontal ones are what you could interact with. And as far as I can tell, that's true. I could only get four at best. There might have only been five total. There's like one or two that'll do a bit of a fake out thing where they kind of start diagonal, then go horizontal for half a second and go a diagonal again. I don't know if you can get those. When I did it a couple times in a row, it seemed like there was some, there was actually like a repeating pattern that maybe you would have to learn and, and familiarize yourself with. But it's kind of dangerous and seemingly very easily easy to die down there still, so I don't know if I'm really gonna push that much more. Not now, at least. Not until closer to a save. Now, I'm coming back as regular... Brian. After having done the Corvo stuff? Oh shit, I probably hadn't even saved since having done that, actually. Going down, uh, at that particular point, to go and do... the whole, uh, initiation thing was the worst timing. Oh, and now I redid. 
the Corvo stuff. And now I'm just trying to come back and find Sintra, regular Sintra again. This is going to be the episode with the most <laughs> unpredictable episode length, because I've been playing for almost an hour, messing around with things. That includes a bunch of time where I was just kind of like fiddling around in the back end, uh, trying to rearrange the messages I was finding and stuff, and I've just completely lost track of time, and I just, like, don't even know what's going on anymore, and I'm just follow I'm just trying to talk to anyone, everything. Do you know, uh, anything about, about Corvo? He doesn't, he doesn't want to talk about it even. Does that not, uh, I can't believe this didn't occur to me sooner, because Bell, 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 like, that doesn't show up anywhere else in the game. So it's clearly, I have to do that three times, and then my password is one, zero, zero, five? Corvo. <laughs> okay. I don't know where this is going to take me. The elevator's clearly wigging out crazy hard. What the shit is going on? <laughs> I don't like this. The ceiling is much lower than normal. What floor am I on? Uh, I'm going to use a regular old flashlight. Hunter. Oh! We're in some, like, weird in-between, like, crawl space or something. Because the elevator's only, like, this little smidge. So, I, I'm, I'm curious. This is, like, Corvo's little getaway or something that he built up in the crawl space. Um, I wonder if this is where they were saying they can't meet anymore or what have you. But someone figured out he was a hunter. Uh, at, figured out at the very least that he was a hunter possibly figured out everyone in his little crew were hunters and that's how they all got offed. How is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't even notice that was there. Uh, how is this little tiny office even labeled? Oh, good. I, I do still have a pencil. I knew I bought a handful a little while ago. Our Corvo's office, eh? There's a device next to it that looks like a card reader. Pretty straightforward. More weird, ritualistic, blood, magic shit going on. There's a gold key hanging on the wall. It has an inscription, Family Cemetery. Oh, shit. Damn. I know you're usually guided by intuition, but at this critical time, I would trust no one but yourself. Remember what I told you about her familiar spirits? Signed, E.N. Which was one of the three that Sosa was aware of. There's a letter, uh, great news you tell me, dear friend. Now that we know where she's hiding and we have the dagger in our possession, it's only a matter of time before we can break the seal on the secret entrance. Signed AM. Secret entrance. Is the secret entrance other than the straight up cemetery entrance? Cause that shit didn't seem too secret. Felt pretty straightforward, transparent, obvious. Especially when it gives you an achievement saying something about, like, oh yeah, that key you just found is very directly, specially, specifically for the cemetery. There's no way I'm going straight there, though. I gotta, like, save up. I'm gonna buy an extra pencil. Much appreciated, Mappy. Been my number one pencil supplier for a while now. Heal most the way back up. And throw down a save? Does it make sense to go back to Corvo's Sintranet? Probably not. That entire thing was probably there to give me that that password so I could get the key. Jesus. Back up to the garden. I know I'm gonna regret this. I regret it immediately, dude. This is a terrible plan. Hey, our owl buddy from the library's back. Yeah, I recognized him too. Jesus fuck, I'm just I'm just waiting for the ghost to come get me at any moment. This tomb must belong to the Sintra family, although I don't recognize the name. That could probably be said uh, of every single one of these, right? Maybe it will say that of every single one of them. This big one that's like fenced off individually, that one's not 
specifically stand standing out in some way as more important or anything. I don't have a dagger right now. What am I doing here? Fountain filled with stagnant water. Why couldn't it just be clean, nice, lovely water? Why is no one coming up here and changing the water, making sure it stays good and fresh? Well, literally, oh, there's a box back here. Mmm. The appearance video. Apparition? What the hell? Did I completely read that wrong? Oh, owl up in the tree there. Apparition. Did I read appearance? What the hell happened to my brain? Jesus, owl. Where are you going? Come back here. Am I supposed to read specifically this one now? Hmm. I thought maybe he was uh, going to show me something important. Is he just permanently running away from me? Do I have to keep chasing him? Now I'm just inventing things to do other than going into the giant mausoleum. Because that's... I, do, I don't want to. Is the main... The main reason. Hello, Mr. Owl. Want to chat? I get the impression that we're never gonna... We're never gonna talk. Hmm. I don't see anything special about the pattern he flies in or anything like that. It's locked, but there's something under here. Jesus, that fucking startled me just cutting over to that like that. I have to get the owl's eye. I don't think I really have anything to lure an owl with. Sleeping pills. Can I make him drink stagnant water and fall asleep? Maybe if I dilute some of these insomnia pills. Oh. Well, that's not at all what I was expecting. What did I just do? I didn't just use them, did I? Because I don't have anything in my inventory now. The pills are gone, and as far as I can tell, they weren't replaced with anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink that shit. <laughs> I got you now, you stupid bird. Sleeping like a log. Now that I see it up close, one of the eyes looks glass. Take it. Take it for yourself. I'm sorry, Mr. Owl. I'm not that sorry. He probably didn't want it anyways. Pretty unnatural. I don't think it was contributing to his sight in any way, shape, or form. Maybe he was an extra vain owl that would super care about that sort of thing, but I kind of had the greater need. This is spooky. <laughs> To the love of our life, Ray Sintra. Oh, she was only 11 years old. Well, there don't seem to be any leads around here. All right, then. If I agree, let's just leave immediately. Although, I could try to move the tomb lid. Oh, my goodness. What am I thinking? Desecrating graves on my first day at work? Do I open it? Not until we look at other shit first, I think. Jao Sintra. And Z Ziu Ying, 1982, 1972. They did die ten years different. And when was this one? Oh, I've I've missed my opportunity to look back at it. But I do just get to see regular Sintra. Is there any thing I should be digesting about this uh, picture? Green eyes. Looks like the AI, obviously. I think opening the grave is the only thing I can do here. I'll open it in just a little bit so I can have a look around and then close it. I thought I thought he was saying I thought he was saying he was gonna not do it. He was gonna look around and then open it. I see what he meant. He was gonna just open it a crack. He was gonna open it a bit, not in a little bit. No body. Something shining down there. You got some bells? The hell are we gonna do with jingle bells, man? Would they belong to the child? Do we use them to like summon Sintra or summon the fucking witch? Uh achievement, blessed apparition. What? Hello? <laughs> this seems not evil at least. Come closer. <laughs> Fuck that. That's what I think he was trying to say. Forgive me. I was just leaving. I made a mistake. 
Did you just peace out? A giant ghost is like, hello, I'm the queen of the cemetery. And you're like, <laughs> no thanks. I said come closer. Who are you? But I mean, I'm a Pasternak. Pasternak. Are you the witch? Witch? The witch? Are you blind as well as unable to speak? Do you not see that my presence floods everything around you with glorious light? That wretched creature you call witch would crawl out of a dark hole full of filth, don't you think? Or it would trick me, is the most likely thing. Answer me, Pasternak. Why did you defile this poor girl's grave? No, 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 no. It was, uh, in case... Well, in case there were any leads? Leads? To what? About the witch? Well, yeah, yeah. Why are you interested in her? Who sent you? I'm not supposed to say. But I suppose I can make an exception? You really ducked out of that quite cowardly quite suddenly there, Brian. I've been hired to kill the witch. I've come this far following the lead in this photo. I wanted to find out some information about Ray Sintra and the other girl next to her. Is the company still hiring hunters? Well, sort of. If so, I owe you an apology. This character has red eyes too, so I guess this was connected to like the thing that we inserted the red eye in. The recurring red eye thing carries on. Although, I mean, the owl was the thing twice and that was for the sake of the puzzle. I don't know what I'm going on about anymore. My name is Atia Moita. Ah, oh, AM! I worked for this company many years ago and I tried to end the witch just as you are now. Unfortunately, my colleagues and I were unable to successfully complete our task. However, we were very close to doing so. I mean, people have been praying to this character. They're not praying to Corvo or anything, they keep praying to Atia. Couldn't you give me some information? I'm a little lost. I met the matriarch of the family before she died, Zhu Ying. She told me the story of how it all started. Show me. Show me rather than telling me. I'm a very uh, visual learner. I would like to revisit this through some sort of old memory. Many years ago, the Sintra family lived in this building. They were a normal married couple, but they had one true regret. They couldn't have children. Therefore, they decided to spend all their savings and take a trip abroad. Hoping to adopt a baby on the black market. Couldn't have got a regular market baby? That's how they found a beautiful girl locked up. Her name was Demori. Does she have horns? The owner told them that she would bring them luck and fortune. But in return, they had to follow two rules. Yeah, this red-eyed evil thing told you luck and fortune. Keep her safe within a magic seal. More red eyes. And make her happy. The family soon realized that Demori wasn't a normal girl. Yeah, fucking obviously not. They followed the two rules and they took care of her as their own daughter. And the divine nature of the girl filled the family with luck and prosperity. Within a few months, they had transformed their home into the headquarters of Sintracorp, and the company started to grow and grow. But their luck did not stop there. Several years later, a beautiful girl was born. Ray Sintra. This other girl didn't age then. The two sisters became inseparable. Uh, at least it wouldn't appear to me. Those were the golden years of the company. Although he looks pretty shady. Growing and growing to become the biggest in the world. Until one day, everything went wrong. Ray Sintra mysteriously disappeared. Zoromi became unstable. Hysterical. The company went into crisis. After a month of freefall, the girl was still missing. So, the family decided to end it. They burned Demori? Why? The business crisis ended suddenly. 
But Ray Sintra never appeared. Oh, the bells from her bun things. To silence the rumors, the family held a funeral without a body. This is heavy shit. Why did they burn that girl? That was the beginning of the witch's curse. Obviously. <laughs> Why did you burn a sacred evil half-cat girl who was directly affecting luck and outcomes and destiny and made you have a child and like that was the worst strategy and like but did, did they suspect that Demori played a part in Ray going missing or something it seems like she cared more than anyone else what the fuck then the witch is that girl Demori didn't you find out where she was hiding a member of our team found her lair but for security reasons he kept the information from us in the end, he also disappeared, like everyone else. But after all these years, I've realized something. It was a mistake to focus our efforts on finding the witch. I'm also wondering if the colleague is Corvo or the other one, Ian, that I can't remember the name. What really matters is the daughter of the family, Ray Sintra. They never found her body, so she's still missing. She's the only one who knows what happened at that key moment when everything went wrong. If you want to kill the witch, find Ray Sintra. Wait a minute, but where? For the love of God, where? I have no idea where that girl might be, but I do know someone very much like her. I have to get back to my office and talk to Sintra as soon as possible. I have a feeling that I'm very close to solving this puzzle. You would think that, right before you get eaten by a witch. I'm so terrified. <laughs> I don't want to be here right now. I want to be literally anywhere else in this game. Get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, jeez. I just want to go back to my office without any shit. Pasternak, what a coincidence. I was just going to the canteen. We need to lend a hand with the birthday preparations. Oh, Hugo's shit. Hugo, oh, I'm sorry, but I can't. I have to get to my office. But everyone's in the canteen. Aren't you going to help? I can't. I have to get back to the office as soon as possible. What's your hurry? Even the cute new girl from the hive is there. Kate? I don't know her name, honey, but she's been asking about you. But if you're so busy... <sighs> well, okay. I'll be right over. Just for a little while. Oh, man. There's no escaping this, is there? I literally have no idea how long that episode's going to be because I have to cut it up in such a weird way. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I apologize if this is like an extra short episode, but I have to pick somewhere to end it, and presumably this is going to go on for a while. So I'm going to cut that off here, and we'll pick this back up immediately right here at the beginning of the party. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back soon. <laughs>